A couple of years ago, I put out a video on responsibly harvesting fatwood. Um, you can buy fatwood from the store. Uh, it's relatively cheap. I'll link to that video above. And also, I'll link to some other fire starting videos. But I wanted to talk about this Smith's tender scraper thing. Um, whenever I'm putting together kits, I like to have fat wood already processed. Um, the simple reason is, one, it takes time. Two, requires you to have a knife with a sharp spine. And a lot of other reasons. And uh, I like when, it, when it's winter time and I get bored, I do this. So I've got fat wood. I've got this Smith's tender scraper. I got some metal containers to put the tender in to use in numerous kits. And I'm actually putting together a new kit that's going to be in an upcoming video that's pretty cool. You'll definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyways, so with this tender scraper, you basically just, and let me show you, there's a, like, like there's a container that holds your tender as you scrape it it fills this up now if you wanted to carry this in like a kit really you could just carry this part which is way smaller and it would fit in just about any admin pouch and then you could just collect it in your hands but let me tell you the whole reason why I like to collect or that I like to pre-shave my tender down and just have it already done the biggest reason is is if you've ever tried to process tender in the woods and it's pouring down rain you know the tender gets wet and although fat wood is a little bit more forgiving and will often still light you still have to get past the water first <laughs> so I just like to have some already made ready to go and this is really simple. I get bored. Well, I don't really necessarily need all this stuff up here now for the video where you can see it. But I basically get bored and I'll sit around and I'll just process this tender just like this. It doesn't take very long usually. And I just keep going until I have as much as I need. For whatever kit that I'm making, you can see I had two metal containers there. This is what I do. And then when I need it out in the woods, I don't have to go and, one, I don't have to go and find fat wood. I've already got it ready to go. Two, I don't have to process it with wet hands or in an area that's it's not raining you know under a pine tree or something like that there's just a lot of reasons that having this ready to go is beneficial And really, the reason why that I made that previous video was because in a lot of the areas that I go to outdoors, which is Daniel Boone National Forest, as people started getting more and more into bushcrafting, you started to see where they were actually taking live pine trees and cutting into the bases of them to try to get fat wood out of them. So they were basically killing the trees in order to for them to collect something they could have went to Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot or any place like that that sells a whole great big box of all the fat wood you'd ever need in your lifetime for like 
six or seven bucks. It's sold as a fire starter for people that have fireplaces. I mean, you can get it just about any store. So there's not really a reason to go cut out the base of pine trees in order to get fat wood. See that? Clear full in what? Five minutes. Anyways, I will link to the Smith's Tinder Scraper. And I'll also link to these little things right here are pretty cool. I like to use these small ones. They can also be used for char cloth. These are like, this is like a normal Altoids Kins tin size. And then this is half the size of that. And then the same thickness. So I'm actually putting together a really cool kit that I'll do a video on here in a couple of weeks. And uh, you'll see where these small ones really come in handy. And a very popular... Uh, I don't want to give it away. You just have to wait and see. I know you've heard me say I do everything in threes, and just so you know, I'm not joking. Three small tins of fatwood pre-shaven. And I just know somebody's going to ask about the ferro rod that's included with that Smith's. So let me see if I can find a metal cookie sheet or something, and I'll show you that it actually works. Um, I actually have three of these Smith's uh, scrapers, and... Uh, Again, they're in my kits, and that's the first time I've actually used this one. That's because that's just the kit that I had closest to me that I grabbed it out of. But uh, the other two kits have already been used. I think I showed this in another video previously. Works really well. So anyways, I'll go ahead and see if I can do a quick demonstration of the ferro rod that comes with this. And again, I will leave a link in the description for the Smith's Tender Scraper and also these various sized uh, tins that you can put the scrapings in. Alright, so it does not take very much fat wood to get a fire going. You would actually need more than this if you were outdoors, you know, depending on how wet your wood was or something like that. But just for a demonstration to show you this ferro rod that's included on this uh, Smith scraper, I thought I'd go ahead and show it. So the way that this works is the Smith scraper comes with a little ferro rod. There's probably, I don't know what size that is. If I was to guess, eighth of an inch might be three sixteenths of an inch. It's got a scraper. The scraper's kind of unique compared to other scrapers. The way that this works is you basically, I always find it easier to uh, keep this hand locked in place and pulling back. So we'll see how that works on this. Hopefully you can see on the camera there. There you go. So yes, the ferro rod included with the Smith scraper worked very well. If it's all you had, you would absolutely be tickled to death you had it. And just going to go ahead and say that this wouldn't be my first choice, but if it was my only choice, it would work. Um, I think that this is the metal that's used in this. If you watched uh, one of the previous videos I did here recently, I was talking about the hardness of ferro rods. This one's pretty soft. Um, it probably isn't going to last, you know, very long. But if, again, if this is all you had to start a fire with, you would get by just fine. And you wouldn't necessarily have to use fatwood either because those shavings are so thin that I've used it with, you know, pine, cedar some hardwoods i've used it you know both hardwoods and softwoods they work great and uh i like them a lot anyways hopefully you enjoyed this survival saturday video thanks for watching as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads